in this tutorial, I will be showing you where we get the formula for finding the volume of a sphere, including other 3D objects. And I will be showing you how you can easily find the integral of any function using Python. As you can see here, a sphere is just like this curved line revolving around the axis. Here I'm revolving it around the x-axis. The, the function of this line is square root of r square, which, which is from here to here, the radius of the sphere, subtract x square. The function of this whole circle is x squared plus y squared equals to r squared, but we only want the top half since we're only going to revolve that around once. To find the volume of the sphere, we slice it into many thin slices so that each slice resembles a cylinder. We find the volume of each cylinder and we add up the volumes to get the volume of the sphere. The thinner each slice is, the more accurate we get, the more accurate we can get the answer. Over here, I have this thin slice. This, the radius of this cylinder equals to y, since, it, since it's on the y-axis. The height of this cylinder equals to dx. D stands for very small difference, and this x is on the x-coordinate. The volume of the cylinder is radius squared times pi times the height. So in this case, it's pi times y squared times dx. To find the sum of all the, all the cylinders in this sphere from negative r to r, we have this integral. We put the negative r here and the r here. And we put in the formula to find the volume of this cylinder. Now we will find the volume of every cylinder of height dx from negative r to r. Now what is y equal to? y is the function of this line, which you can see here. So we substitute that in. This square root and this square cancel each other out. So we have this. Since pi is a constant, we can take it, take it out of this integral sign. We put it here. Now we have this. Now, now we integrate what's over here. r squared is a constant, so it's just r squared times x. The integral of x squared equals to x cubic over 3. So we have this. Now we substitute this r. In over here, we get pi times r cubic subtract r cubic over 3. We subtract, substituting this negative r in here, so you see pi times negative r cubic subtract negative r cubic over 3. And we get 4 over 3 times pi times r cubic. Now, what if the radius of our cylinder is 3? We put 3 into this formula, and we get an approximate answer of 113.1. Now let's have a look at our Python program. From scipy.integrate, I import the quad. And from the mo math module, I import pi and the square root function. I define a variable r. It will let the user input the radius of the sphere. So over here I can say input the radius of the sphere. Now I define this function. As you can see in our presentation, Let's see. We, we integrate 
pi times the function square. So we have here pi times the function is square root of r square minus x square. Then we square it. Now, answer, I define this variable answer and this variable ERR, which stands for error, is equals to quad. Here I put in the function. Here I put in the here I put in the value that's on the top of the of I mean the bottom of the integral sign, and here I put what's on the top of the integral sign. I print answer and the error. Let's first see what will happen. Here I input the radius of the sphere, 3. Here they give us the volume of the sphere, and we have a, a little error in, in this answer, since it's impossible to get the 100% accurate answer. The error is 1.25, it's this, times 10 to the negative 12th power, so it's 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, many zeros, and then we have 1, 2. So this gives us an, an really accurate answer. If we just want the answer without the error, we just simply print answer. So we put 3, oops. Now we get the answer of the volume. We can have any function here. For example, let me first import the signing. Our function is signing x square. Now just remove this. If we run this, we can put in any number like 3. Here it'll give us the integral of signing x square from negative r to r and we just and r is 3 over here this is the end of this tutorial if you have any comments questions requests or suggestions please leave them down in comment comment section below please subscribe to my channel i upload a new video every day today is january 21st 2020 Thank you for watching and have a nice day.